Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we're going to do some fish. I'm going to show you how to prepare this nice rainbow trout out in the bush. So let's get straight into it. We're going to start off, uh, well, we're going to do three cuts in total, all right? And you're going to get left with uh, just the flesh uh, and then the head, all the guts, and the tail in one. So, what we're going to do to begin with is a nice ring cut just behind the fin there. So, that's going to get cut all the way through to the spine and the whole way around the bottom again on the other side all the way around like that and we're going to do the same cut along the bottom just above the 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 exit hole there the bum so a nice cut all the way through and then around the top again this is where the fish starts to lose sort of all its integrity and then the same on the other side, like that. Okay, and then keeping all the guts inside, lastly, from the bum, we're gonna just do a few little nicks, try not to cut the guts too much, and go all the way up to the top. Like that. Now lastly is the bit where you can put the knife down and what we're going to do we're going to rub our fingers down the spine like I say trying to keep all the guts in so fingers all the way in locating that spine and then just rub our fingers up and down releasing all those bones off the flesh and we're going to be left with a nice fillet of fish or fillet of fish for the Americans out there all the way down to the end, all the guts in one end, all the flesh in the other, and there we have it. Nice, a sort of Tom and Jerry looking thing there, all the guts and gore on the one. That's going to go straight in the crayfish trap, which will catch some crayfish. And then the other hand, we've got a beautiful fillet of trout. Okay, so while that fire's building, uh, I'm gonna prepare the stick we're gonna cook the fish on. Um, this is called panassing. Uh, and the it was first sort of seen in um, the Native Americans. Uh, it's quite a good little method. I'm just going to clean the bark off the stick here. And then what we're going to do is put the stick in the top, uh, the knife in the top there, and then ease that knife like that. There we go. And what we're aiming to do is split that stick just a little bit. Ease it with the knife. There we go. Pow, 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 pow. All the way down. Skadoosh. Perfecto. So, it's worth mentioning that this is um, a green stick. It's alive. I'll stick that at the other end. I'm just going to sharpen it off to a point. Nice point there. And that gets stabbed in the ground. Just wait two seconds. I then got a nice thin stick here. And this one's going to lop off that end. And I'm going to sharpen this end on here. Uh, there we go. These are both silver birch, so non-poisonous. Uh, but I am just going to debark this one quickly. Okay, so what we're going to do with our fish is make a series of holes. So make one hole in that side there, another hole one side of the spine, come through. Another hole, one side of the spine. Another hole at the top. And another hole at the edge. So just there. There you go. And that gives us space for our sticks to come in from this side. And then in this side, back through, in through that hole, 
and back in. So when we spread it out, we've got a nice clothesline of fish. So this now into our freshly prepared panassing stick can slide down. And now that stick there will help to hold it out flat when it goes over the fire. So with this bit of the top here, you want to get yourself a little bit of a natural cordage and just bind that up to help keep it all nice and tight, stop it undoing and, and running away. So I'm just going to tie that up and then pass it down over the centre through the gap and that will lock it in place. Rack, bit of fish, good to go over the fire. Now you can, if you want, place another stick at the bottom and that helps hold these out nice and flat. But what I like is the flames to lick the bottom and gets it nice and crispy. So once all this flesh here has started to go nice and firm, you know, that's that's pretty much cooked there all the way through. It's, it isn't a particularly firm fish, the trout, but it is. Mmm, it is good. Okay, so that is that dripping, dripping with, uh, with the oils, I'm falling apart, cooked and ready to go. So you can slide it off, but as you can see here, this is just falling apart, looking good. Stab that back in the ground. There we go. And we've got some nice, oh, cooked all the way through, bit of trout. So what I've got here isn't particularly bushcrafty. Some nice white soft bread rolls with plenty of butter. And all I'm going to do is have him straight in the bit fell off then. All that flesh, lovely flesh. Straight in there like that. And there we have it, a nice trout sandwich. And that, that is good. That is really good, that. Right, just tuned in. I'm gonna sit here and finish my sandwich. Got another one to eat there. And then set my trap out for the uh, crayfish. If you wanna see me, um, excuse me, catching and cooking the crayfish, I'll put a link to that. Um, I've already done a video for that, but I'll put a link for that later on um but in the meantime thanks for um, thanks for tuning in and i'll uh, i'll see you on the next next episode